Okay, we're now going to examine why differential circuits are used. Why do we make the input to our operational amplifier differential, for instance? Okay, so here we have an amplifier and we have an input signal going into the amplifier and of course we expect that that input signal is going to come out amplified by the, ampl by the gain factor AV. So at the output of this amplifier we're going to get a very large signal. Now, let's say that the amplifier is being uh, supplied by this power supply. And the power supply has some noise coupled onto it, maybe from some switching activity and some noisy digital circuits. So we just got some random noise here. Now, we know that if we lay this circuit out, it's going to be near the power supply line and that, and that uh, wires uh, that are next to each other and separated by air can be coupled uh, through by capacitance or uh, mutual inductance. Let's just assume that we have some parasitic capacitance at the input and we'll even put some parasitic capacitance from the supply to the output. Well, if this noise here gets coupled through that capacitance to the input, and it's got about the same magnitude as the input, then we can expect that it's going to be amplified by the same factor. And so the noise at the output is just going to be big. So what's going to happen is that the ratio of the signal to noise at the output is going to be small and it's going to be hard to detect our signal in the presence of all of this noise. Now let's look at the situation if we use a differential amplifier. So we still have the same supply circuit. We have a supply that's providing supply power to the amplifier uh, and it's also coupling to the input and output. through parasitic capacitances. Now let's say that we have that same noise we're going to assume that this noise couples through the capacitances at the input and arrives at the input uh, at both terminals with relatively the same strength. Well, this amplifier is amplifying the difference between these two signals. If the signals are close to identical, then the noise level is going to be very small at the output. However, the signal level is going to be very big because the, the uh, input signals are differential, so they're opposite in phase. So we have a very big input and a very small amount of noise. Now, in this case, uh, the, uh, coup the noise coupling at the output can be a, a bit more significant because the noise coupling from the input is so small, but nonetheless we still have a large difference between the noise and our signal level, so our signal to noise ratio is very high. And this is the reason that we use differential circuits is that we can make sure to amplify the desired signal, which is our differential signal, and minimize amplification of undesired signals like noise.